Look at this video, Harbor Freight. It's the welding table we got made. So we're gonna look at it, how to, what it looks like in the box, how they packed it, how hard was it to assemble. And uh, I got the video running at a higher speed. So you can see here, two tables can work together. Uh, heavy duty steel surface, adjustable table angle, five pot of the stops. Um, you can see it on an angle here in this picture. It's five way table angle adjustment. It, so you, instead of it being straight up or level, you can be on an angle, obviously. And here we go. We're going to unbox it and assemble it. Woohoo! Now we're going to open up the box. Got my blade opening up each end of the box. It opens up like a clamshell. I think I tried to get it out of the box by just opening one end, but that didn't work. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing it on the cement floor, so I wanted to set it up so that I had a um, cardboard underneath it to protect it while I was building it. So we got the box open, now you can see how well it's put together. Got the straps, six straps holding it. We're gonna cut the straps now. And then uh, take it out of the box, take the straps out, take it out of the box. You can see all the plastic holding all the metal pieces together. So nothing moves in the box during shipping. Nothing was damaged. I'm going to start taking the plastic off. Uh, everything's wrapped pretty good, so it wasn't that easy to get the plastic off. It's like, how's, what's the fastest way to get the plastic off? Right here, I was just taking the plastic off the little knobby legs or feet or whatever I call them. And I'm starting to get the product out. I got the instructions out. There's the bag of uh, tool, uh, not tools, but bolts and nuts and washers and handles. And those are the angle plates. Um, some more of the metal parts. The instructions are pretty good on this particular product. You can always go to Harbor Freight. So most of their stuff you can just download their the manual. So I like to look at the manual, see what they have to say about assembly and stuff like that. See how good the manual is. Uh, I didn't think this manual was too bad. The only thing that I like to do is um, put all my parts out and like a lot of places say, you know. And uh, in order to find all those, you had to go to the back, near the back page of the manual. This is all metric nuts and bolts, so you're going to need metric tools or an adjustable wrench. You can see we're going through the manual quickly here. You get an idea of the pictures. There's that page of the parts. And I've got the, the video sped up about five times. So uh, trying something new. You know, we're getting ready to start assembly. This particular day, it was a June day last year. It's 2020. It's uh, February 4th, I believe, to right now, today, 2020. And uh, this was June last year. Uh, it was a very hot day. So uh, I had about an hour before I had to do something else. So I said, well, I might as well start. So right here, I'm putting out all the bolts and nuts, the handles, the yellow, yellow things are the handles. Um, and then the... There's the goldish 
things uh, they they look like bolts, but they're they're called lever bolts. Those were for putting on the short guide rails, which you'll see at the end. It's the, one, it's the last thing we do. Just, you know, looking over the installation instructions, trying to make sure I understand it correctly. And now we're going to start to assemble the vertical posts. So we're following figure A, and we're assembling the vertical posts and the angle bracket assembly. So I think you'll find that to be good. So we're going to do both vertical posts. So there's one bolt that holds each angle bracket assembly to each vertical post, as you can see there. I wish I had a pointer here. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I wanted to highlight some things. Well, you can see I got my uh, torque wrench out. No, it's not torque wrench. What's it called? impact wrench. I started using that to assemble things and boy it really speeds things up. So we got the right uh, socket on there. rat a tat 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 and that's assembled. Ta-da! I got my open end box end wrench over the other side to hold the bolt. And there we go. So that's, those two are assembled now. Next, we're gonna move on to the support leg assemblies. And you're gonna see where the vertical posts are gonna get attached to the support legs, which is, creates the, that triangle of the support. Oh, this makes support leg assembly, yeah. Um, each, leg is going to be assembled to each vertical post with one bolt and then so there's going to be a total of four bolts used doing the other side right now. Okay, good. Now we got one leg on. Now we're gonna have to put the other leg on. Now this leg has the tool manager, the part that's got the name of the product is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Chicago Electric, welding, welding table. That particular um, support is actually a tool hanger. It's got some, you'll see, it's got some holes at the top of it. I guess you can slide tools in and stuff like that. We got one bolt in. And now we've got the legs assembled. You see the holes? 
I'm changing the angle of the camera. You see the holes in the top of that? No, that's to uh, hang your tools, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> Whatever tools you might need while, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> while you're welding. <coughs> Jeez. Now we're putting on the support brace, which is going to go in between the vertical posts, not in between them, on them, attach to the side of them. You can see you're using a screwdriver. That was a big screwdriver. You know, uh, it's bigger than a number two Phillips. <clears throat> I suppose a number two Phillips would work, but I happen to have a bigger one. I don't know what they call it, but it fit right in nicely. So, and now we're putting the handles on, um, on the angle adjustment plates. So they're called angle adjustment handles. They're yellow, they're plastic, but uh, they seem to be, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll find out. This, but at this moment, they seem to be okay. If they break, I'll just weld on a piece of metal onto the nut to do the same thing. Now, this is the next day. Uh, and you can see I got the stuff laid out, what's left to do, which is basically to put those <clears throat> uh, tabletop bracket assemblies on the tabletop. So there's two of those. And those are going to be used to attach the table to the top of the angle bracket. So that's going to tie in the whole top of the table assembly to the angle to the to the legs and I would say looking at the amount of uh, washers and stuff I got there I probably have stuff left over I don't remember and what you're gonna see left after the um, angle uh, tabletop brackets are are on is the guide rails there's a long guide rail and a short guide rail and those are attached to each to one end of the table top which makes it nice to, if you're going to do uh, you know a piece of welding uh, it kind of helps to uh, make sure it's straight square you see in the back there on the yellow tarp, there's a, a set of legs for a folding, a two foot by eight foot or a three foot by eight foot folding table um, that's used in, you know, paws and stuff like that. And I, I have to repair, I have to re-weld it. There's a couple broken welds on it. So uh, after I put this ta together, I used that to fix those legs and it worked really well. I was uh, actually surprised how well those guide rails helped me to uh, make sure it was square before I weld it. Yep, oh, reading more instructions. Hmm. Now I'm putting the top on. And now we're taking it off. And now we're putting it on. And that uses four nuts and bolts and washers. 
And you can see it's on now. Now we're putting on, oh, oops, putting the bolts in still. <laughs> mm. Mm. So we're almost done though. And uh, it's pretty sturdy, it folds up nice. I'm able to put it next to the welder, you know. You only have so much room in the garage, and I keep trying to get rid of stuff so I have more room to put the important stuff in. So this helps as far as having a table and still being able to fold it up nicely and put it away so I have room for other things. Okay, we're moving the camera now. Ta-da! Now we're going to attach the guide rails. As you can see here in the pictures. And these are attached with those lever bolts. The uh, tabletops are already threaded, so the lever bolts just turn in and hold up. Hold. You can move those guide rails up and down. You by loosening or tightening. You know, loosen the lever bolts, drop them down. They're out of the way. Or you push it back up, tighten them, and they're now in. Not in the way, but now they become. They help you to, uh, you know, guide. So here we go with the long one. Putting the long one on now. And now the, the table's done. Now we're looking at um, Dragon Boat Racing. This was in at Hartford, Connecticut in the Connecticut River.